It is vital that we act now and work together to protect our communities today and prepare for the heat to come in future years. Local leaders today urging Arizonans to keep cool and stay watchful as our summer heat pushes into August. We need to remain vigilant. We need to remain safe. We're not out of the heat season just yet. This summer, Phoenix is setting new heat records with the hottest June and second hottest July ever. It's pushing leaders to find better solutions like adding more cooling centers and extending hours to help our most vulnerable. Through the end of July, those facilities have already seen more than 18,000 visits for heat relief. Last year, Arizona had a shocking number of heat-related deaths, topping 600. And while Maricopa County is on track to outpace last year's record number of heat deaths, the city of Phoenix says they're seeing fewer calls for heat-related emergencies. The most recent numbers that we've seen show a modest improvement from, from last year, but it is very early in the reporting season to draw a lot of conclusions from their numbers. We are seeing encouraging signs in Phoenix's uh, fire department data. 911 calls related to heat show a pretty substantial drop uh, in 911 calls for heat emergencies compared to the same time last year. While this heat is far from over, Officials are hopeful the new resources they've come up with will save lives and keep more people safe. We're not going to solve all of the problems that are happening within heat season within three, six or 12 months. This is going to be an ongoing effort where we're going to have to evaluate those best practices and our approaches and see how we can come out better and better within our state from year to year. Yeah, and the city of Phoenix is also looking to add more shade structures. Mm -hmm. So those projects will be within the next coming months and the coming years to help keep people cool. Yeah, very important. The shade does a lot. It really does, especially yeah. in this heat. So, yeah. Michaela, thank you. Thanks, Jamie.